Hi and welcome back to your MES e-lesson, I'm Natalie. By now you should be able to ask questions with could in a business setting fluently. Let's test your progress. There will be 10 Korean questions in total. You will have a few seconds to translate and ask each question in English. For example, Then ask me in English like this. Could Jenny think through the solution before speaking off the cuff? Are you ready for your test? Good, let's get started. Number one. Could you put your game face on in the meeting to really impress our buyers? Number two. Could you reduce expenses by switching to a more cost efficient supplier? Number three. Could you go live with our European branch at 1pm today regarding our new company slogan? Number four. Could you keep me up to speed on how the memory chip developments are coming along? Number five. Could you send your product catalogue over to my neck of the woods? Number six. Could you market your services better if you had more modern features and graphics on your website? Number seven. Could you supply me with some information on how to troubleshoot this program? Number eight. Could you document with pictures a step-by-step -step guide on how to change the processor in this laptop? Number nine. Could Ben export the data from the old PCs into the new Macs? Number 10. Could you talk to your boss in confidence if something was really troubling you?
So, how did you do? Did you get all 10 correct? If not, no problem. Allowing yourself to make mistakes is an important part of the learning process. Remember, it's about working at your own pace and speaking fluently. So, just go back to video B and keep on practicing until you can say all 10 questions quickly and fluently. If you got all 10 correct, fantastic! Now it's time for you to move on to your next e-lesson. I'm Natalie and I look forward to seeing you again next time.